How you guys doing? Randy Richard in the shop. So today I have a cool mist tank here. I want to punch a couple holes in. Uh, it's a thin uh, stainless steel. And I have a an old uh, number five Whitney punch here. Handheld Whitney punch. Punch number five. I got this from uh, Tom Lipton. It's uh, fairly old, uh, fairly well used, very well used, I should say. Uh, almost looked like somebody soaked it in some rust cleaner to get all the rust off of it. But it is cleaned up and it is usable. I've used it a couple times. But I want to punch some 3 16 holes. And all I have is the punch side. I don't have the die side. This is for the quarter inch. So I thought I'd uh, make one. So off to so you lay. get on the computer and you make a nice drawing. Fusion 360 I used for this one. A little less than three quarters of an inch long, seven sixteenths diameter, seven sixteenths twenty thread, two different holes, one for the where the punch comes in size, and then a clearance hole in the back, which would be quarter inch. We'll use a number nine drill for that clearance hole for the punch. A little screwdriver slot. A little reduced diameters on each end. And we'll heat treat it. Just put a mark how far I need to th thread it. We're just going to thread down there. Yeah, about to there. A little extra. And I'll put a mark. Yeah, there we go. Just, oh, uh, perfect. Just hardly next hand, and no movement almost. It just, just perfect. We really love it. Now a little diameter reducing just to get rid of the threads. For about 70 thousandths. We're just going to uh, pop that in there and clean up the face. That's all we have to do. Putting a very slight angle on that face. That's how the other ones are. Just hardly anything. And I'm just going to file it.
took it out of the water and I just ran on the wire wheel. I have some of the hardness test files. This one's uh, the 65. That's the one you start with the hardest one first. And you see if it will mark it. So I'm going to try the die end. All right. Skates on it. Doesn't even mark it. Now this end was sitting on the steel. I was looking for fire brick to set it on, but couldn't find them. It marks it. This end's not 65, but this one's 65 or better. I can't really... Oh, they're kind of on the edge. I got barely a mark. So, the thing's pretty hard. Let's see what the bottom is. We'll work our way down through the files. Oh, that one, that one just skates on it. It barely does anything. So, it's somewhere between 60 and 65. And that was just with the propane torch, but it's a small part, and you can get it hot enough. Uh, it should have been sitting on a fire brick, then it would have been uh, the same throughout. All right, I decided to try this without tempering it. And I... The slots, I took a hacksaw to. And then I took a real thin file and filed them a little wider so the screwdriver fit. But before we hardened it. That thing goes in there perfect. So uh, that goes in, your punch goes in the top. And this lever, this lever comes over and engages those slots on the punch part. And bolt goes in here now the threads are really worn on this uh, I have a 1032 bolt here I just stick in there and uh, to hold it then you adjust the punch up then you got basically flat engagement Let's find a piece of test it on tuna can Let's just, let's just give her a go. I need to screw that out a little bit more, a little more engagement. See, it punched it, but it didn't punch it, but it didn't punch it all the way out the the, the slug. Oh boy, that was <laughs> clean. Slugs aren't falling out though, but they'll they'll nick them around and they come right out. But that one didn't have full engagement. Very nice, very clean hole. This is pretty thin material, so maybe the clearance hole is a little on the bigger side. But I kind of compared the measurements of the other ones and. One with about ten thousands bigger. Anyway, that works sweet. And uh, here's our box. Now the punch has a little tit on it. If I can get this in there, the little tit goes in your center punch mark. Might have to play with this a little bit. I think I'm going to be able to do this.
it's not quite punching the, the slug off all the way, so yeah, maybe I'll have to adjust that clearance hole, make another one. This lip on here kind of makes a little bit fight around, but there we go. There we go. Two very clean holes. Very nice, actually. Very, very clean. So the repair of the Whitney and. Uh, very cool. Now I got a full set of punches. I think that's 332nd on up to 516th. No, 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 I'm sorry. 930 seconds. So, up and operational. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for watching.